Hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing some more Legend of Runeterra. And there's a lot of excitement going around. There's the, some, the new set coming. I'm super excited about all cards and everything. But I'm still a grand ladder. We're actually sort of close-ish to Masters. And I want to see if we can get close at all to, to finishing. Uh, at least in Diamond 1 at the end of the season. Um, but I haven't played a ton of aggro this season. I'm not really comfortable on too many of the decks. Like, I enjoy scouts, but I only have like a 38% win rate with it. And so we're gonna we're gonna try some aggro decks and see where it takes us today. Um, I think we're gonna we're gonna try out um, pirates first. I think this is the one of the better aggro decks at the moment. And I don't have a ton of experience on it. I thought we'd give it a try, see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll try it out. I know there are some lists that aren't running TF that are instead running Gangplank. Uh, like extra copies of Gangplank. I think that's kind of cool. But we'll see how it goes. After this, we might try Nightfall because I really enjoy Nightfall. Wait, wait, what is this? Is this just... No, wait, no way it's Poros. No, because Poros is... Um, Freljord. What is it? I wonder. Okay. Well, this looks actually kind of cool. Triple one drop is not too shabby. Let me see if I can open the Master Tracker. Wow, look at that. Okay. I don't know if that's actually good or not. <laughs> it seems kind of over the top. Um, what do we want? Hmm. And we just chuck them all down if we can. Okay. So. I have no idea what this dude's playing. I think we'll get in with both Corsairs. Because he's probably going to want to block the 2 damage here, right? Really? So he's taking extra 2 damage to kill one Corsair. So this is where it gets awkward. I'm never really sure what to do with these points. Oh, that's actually so much better. Wow. That's insane. I think I have to be a bit worried about Static Shock, but... I don't think we're gonna we're gonna play too much around that. Really? No champions though. Is it just a Yorls and Arms deck with like? Huh. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. Well, hey, what was that? Less than three minutes. That was probably like a two-minute game. That's not a bad average game time. Interesting. So I, we, I think we were two games away. Maybe we were one game away at some point from Masters, so that's very interesting. Um, it's an interesting game plan. Sorry, someone's the door. I'm going to have to mute my mic for a second. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. I'm still curious what the deck was. We need a really good chance to check. I've really been enjoying Aphelios. So like in my quest to finally hit Masters, I have like a 55% win rate on Lux Jace and on Talia Ziggs and like a 60% win rate on Aphelios. Aphelios. But I'm just not super great at everything else. <laughs> like I've tanked my rank so much by like once I'm getting close making this excuse that oh I need to play a better deck like Scouts or something. What's the plan here? What's the plan? What's the plan? Is Trusted Fate ever a keep? They're go hard deck, that's interesting. Okay, so they don't even actually have units with one health. So maybe we ship a uh, Trusted Fate. Hmm. I don't want to get roasted by go hard. So we get punished by a house spider. They don't run House Spider. They do run Go Hards though. Hmm. And Unspeakable Horrors. Ah, I don't know. I don't really want to run. I'm going to push the pets a bit. Okay. I think we're okay with killing one of these. I don't know if this is Sir Termin's deck. It doesn't look like it, but I don't know if Sir Termin. Wow, they have an Extali Sentinel on their deck. That's so weird. Hmm. 
I'm going to pass here to keep a fervor. So we can actually plop all three of these down, that's kind of nuts. No one's the wiser. And we can trade pretty effectively. Do we risk it? What do they have here that in fast speed? They have unspeakable horror. Hmm. So let's see what they do. Oh gosh, oh, yeah, let's not play Gang Plank. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. That's actually really nice. <laughs> I get to like go hearts and stuff. Ah, very cool, very cool. Wow, that's actually really awful. We get blown out by that, don't we? So how do we ever stop that? Is there a way to stop this? Wait, we don't have a single Fearsome Bucker. Dang, we could have knocked some Fairbrother. Here's some blocker, but that's kind of awful. And we've only damaged the enemy ne uh, Nexus twice. See, like this just feels awful. I hate when this feel happens with these kind of decks. Okay, cool, cool. Maybe it's because I just don't have an experience in it. But it just feels kind of like play one drop, play one drop, play one drop, slam the attack, and then like, <laughs> I don't know, try to set up a good fervor, but I don't know. Because there's so many aggro decks I love, like Nightfall. I like Scouts a lot. Um, in Magic the Gathering, there are a lot of aggro decks I like, but I don't know. These like quadruple one drop decks just feel kind of silly sometimes. Like I said, maybe just because I need more experience, but... It's also kind of funny that we hit Twisted Fate once in Gameplay once with no misfortune, <laughs> since we have three copies of her. Ooh, this is interesting. I wonder if this is more focused on the uh, Rumble pack, which I could uh, max. Um... I think it is actually a little bit. That's kind of cool. Oh, is this Sunny's deck? No, it's not. Victor's sign. I know Su uh, Sunny just uploaded a, a Rumble. What was that Rumble? Rumble sign this this morning. Okay. Mm, I don't think any of these are keeps on turn one except for the Grenadier. Whoa, that does not feel, <laughs> feel super great. How many one drops do we have? Okay, we have like three, six, nine. <laughs> we have 13 one drops and we didn't get one. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Double that's me. That's really awkward. Especially when we're kind of in like an aggro ish mirror. Hmm. Are we okay with going demolitionist? into our Grenadier and letting it trade into the Otter Quest. Because what, what does it accomplish if we just open attack, right? It just gets bucked by the Ferris Finance here anyway. Okay, we can do this. I wonder if they'll be able to get a fearsome blocker down this turn. We do have to tap under fervor so they could hit us with a mystic shot here or something or get excited on door demolitionist they do like get excited pokey stick and mystic shots okay dang so we're gonna have to, like trade on our entire board here that feels awful do we even do it when we are out of fervor mana like what do we attack with here that's a good trade i think we just attack with these two because He's gonna want to trade the fearsome here, which is fine, because this thing's weak to pokey stick or whatever, anyways. And they can't kill Dunlishness, but they can set it up for a pokey stick or get excited. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 
Hmm. Yeah, okay, I hope they keep this alive, because we need something to set up our demolitions next turn. I'm really struggling to get these gang peg triggers too. I feel like that's kind of important. Hmm, maybe we should maybe we should play some Sejuani decks. I think those are really fun too. More than like the the pirate style, because I actually enjoy like Misfit Fate, Misfortune, Twisted Fate, Gang Plague package, but it's not in this form, I suppose. Oof. Okay, that's pretty tough. So let's go here. If they don't break, and keep up forever. That'll at least help slow down the rumble level up, right? For the glory of oh, goodness. This is actually kind of awkward. <laughs> I think we're going to have to sacrifice our full health ally. Because if we don't, we would get blown out by Pokey Stick or Mystic Shot. What if we don't, though? What if we just do this? Because it gets our gameplay trigger. I have my hmm. And like, I, I want to be reactive with Nox and Fervor. I don't want to put Nox and Fervor in the stack and then let them react, right? Hello, new best friend. Ooh, Stitchin! He's a creepy little birdie, but I like him. I love Nightfall. If we can get them down to 8, I guess 11. I like the Agent Saboteur. I feel like there were months and months and months when I didn't see Broom Crew Rookie at all, but it popped up recently in some decks. Okay, this is cool. Let's see if they react to the thing like a Pokey Stick or something. We will fervor this one. I mean, I guess they could get excited still, which would be a bit disappointing, but... At least this plays around... Okay. What? Was that Unleash Energy? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What? Oh, it was Rising Spell Force. I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't think it was the right reach of Oopsies. <laughs> this feels awful. I don't know how to win with this thing, my guy. That certainly helps. Are you ready? Let's take it for a spin. So Gangplank does 5 damage? Oh goodness, what does that mean for us here? Anything? Probably not. What happens if we summon Gangplank? Anything? Let's rip it. Let's see how it goes. We can Decimate for 5, puts it to 3, and then, I don't know, hmm. We can put up to two and hope we hit a fervor or a make it rain off the top. Woo, that's not good. <laughs> okay. So we need this to go through and we need to hit fervor, right? Uh, not pokey stick, not mystic shot. <laughs> okay. So, I, I'm not feeling this. I have no idea how to order with pirates. <laughs> I don't know, man. I have an awful, awful, awful one right in Aggro Dex this year. For the season. Let's, let's go back to my comfort. I have like a okay win right on Nightfall this season.
I feel very comfortable in the aggro mirrors. Oh, but this is this is an awful matchup, I think. Diana is cool, but how good is she here? I don't know. We'll keep her, because she's very important for picking off Kindred. <laughs> I mean, there's probably a good chance we can get Slurry Soldier here in for a decent attack. Sweet. The thing is, I think they, this deck probably plays Bile Feast, uh, Withering Whale, Piercing Darkness. Like, there's a lot of stuff that could really stop us from... Okay. Right. I think we'll take a dust bringer. So, what if we do this? Okay, so we got that out. We can't react to that with our Diana. So now we play our Lucy. Let's do another thing. Moonlight Affliction is nice. Like, I'd prefer to see the future later. But it could be really important for getting around our, our, our enemies, like, big chunky units, right? That's a pretty solid hit. There's nothing to fear. Ours is the one true light. Activator, night block activator, night block activator. Oh. Uh, let's rip it. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish. Wow, we could actually Moonsister. go Moonlight Affliction right now. How good is that? Probably pretty bad. What does it what does it do? It goes two, four, six, eight damage. Hmm. I don't know. That's nice, but not game winning. Hmm. I guess you're pressing guardian. That's a big hitter. We can activate night. Our Diana to go after the Buru. Oh, brutal. Well, that's annoying. What are we begin with here? Everything? Because I doubt they'll block with Buru. I love Lunari Shade Sucker, man. I think the card itself is so cool. Lunari Shade Sucker and the Flight are just so dope. I'm so excited about the new Nightfall Finisher, too. I hope it, like, really helps the deck. Because, like, Sometimes I feel like you're running out of steam, and then, like, I'm out like the medium, like, turn six, seven, eight. You're like, okay, this is my last turn. If I do not win here, I just lose, right? <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of sweet. So we can, we can take a beating here and be fine, and heal up some, drain some. You feels really good. I don't think we want to take this because. We, we just don't want to make it prone to Mystic Shattering. Because I don't think they play- I don't think they play Get Excited. Wow, that's really sweet. Okay, how do we win though? We need a- we need a- We need a Nocturne top deck. I don't know if that'd do it. I think we need a, an Unto Dusk top deck into... Oh, goodness. So we're pumping four damage. It's gonna be gonna be a challenge, I think, to push through that extra four. Or five, even. Oh, goodness, what does this do? Pick off Elise. Silence two units. That doesn't do anything either. Wow, this feels really awful. How do we... 
Hmm. What if we Moonlight Affliction? Because I want to get the Unspeakable Horror to create a card, right? I don't think it does anything though to silence something right now. It's not even worth it. You can silence stuff next turn. Kind of just like save the cards exposed for another turn. Plus, I don't think there's anything really to do right here that like helps us win the game. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. So we can actually kind of react here in a really awkward way where if they try to kill something, we can silence the kindred so it doesn't mark our unit. Yeah, okay. This is Scream's Slay spell. Oof, okay, okay, we're good. So. Ah, wow, this is really awkward. We're probably just gonna Moonlight Affliction the Vi- or the Kindred. And the Sentinel or something. What is- what the- okay. Hmm. So you can kill the Kindred. We don't care about silencing the Vi, so let's do this. To pump- uh, to clear some damage here. And remove Quick Attack from Kindred. And block with the Beast. Go to five feels really bad because I know they have atrocity. So let's just drain them. Put them down to three. And then desperately, desperately hope we hit Doom Beast into Underdust or something. <laughs> Death Spirit is cool, but it just it's never game winning. That doesn't do much either. That's essentially just a night blockivator for next turn. Another SP will horror could win us the game. You are a child. What do you know of nightmares? I know if I'm quick enough if, to if, fight. If if Shade Stalker survives, which is a big if at this point. Oh dang. They got us! Okay. It was close-ish. We, we were close, but... We kind of got blown out when um, they hit, the, hit us with the box earlier in the game. Are there any decks you guys are playing now that the season's winding down? I've been playing a ton of Aphelios, but the last few days I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. Maybe try some aggro stuff to try to push towards Masters, but... Not hitting quite right today. Ooh, okay. Julia Malphite. I feel like this is such a hype of deck for a few weeks ago, but like I haven't seen it like at all. <gasps> I love the flight. We will happily keep Stygian. And we can probably pitch the other two hunting for a Diana. Because we need to race them down. We lose by turn seven. At that point, it's going to be very reliant on like hard triggering Doom Beast over and over, right? Because we're not going to get many attacks off at that point. Engine prep, cool. I love the flight, getting some elusive damage, cycle through your cards, very nice. Um, this is where it's awkward, what do you do here? Hopefully this will get rid of their fearsome blocker, right? I love the fight, but he's got to take one for the team, you know? Okay, so here we can actually go... Hail Cascade into... Lunari Shade Stalker? That's actually kind of interesting. It's like a desperate late game play if we need to find something big. And what do you play here? Hopefully just like another Ancient Pep to go... Or no, it have to be... Rats! That stinks. Do we even play Stygian at, at this point? What if we don't? What if we just... What if we just activate him with Nightfall next turn? To get our Priestess online. Because... He just trades with the Vout. And I don't really want that. Because that gives some access to an easy Converted Arcane to blow us out. Okay, so that's cool. So we can actually go Flight. 
Dang. Well, now what do we do? Oh, why would why would they pass to like make us develop? I think we can actually block here. They don't really have any one damage spells, right? Clears out the board so our blockers can actually do stuff. We can burn a rolling scenes here because our flight is just gonna get shuffled back into our deck. Excuse me. Okay, Crescent Strike's nice. Golden Sister's nice. I think we just go with the Elusive, right? Crescent Strike could be good though. But like. I think we need to just push extra damage. Hmm. So what if we go a Trickster and then Stygian? That might be able to... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think we need to wait and see if they play Talia. I doubt they will. But if they play any important unit, we can give it vulnerable. If they don't, we can give the devout vulnerable to pull it with the Lunari Priestess, right? They might be kind of telegraphed that we were setting up a Nocturne, but he'll he'll level up, which is huge. So we actually don't even need to pull him. Another fearsome block blocker would be really bad, though. Like if they had another rock hopper here, that that'd be really bad. Oh, uh, that's tough. Do we still jam it? I think we do. We push an extra four damage that way. Two, four, six, eight. But we lose a nocturne. No, we don't. What if we just do this? We kill the Devout, but our Nocturne stays alive for one extra turn, which could be important if they develop, we can drop them something to like reduce their attack. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Like, we're totally okay with them playing that decision, right? We don't really care. And now they're- if they're gonna be records, like, actually, I just do health. Okay. Sure. Coming to lines is not bad. I don't think it's the perfect hit, but... Hmm, I love the fight. So cool. Such a cool artwork, such a fun card. Wow, this is really bad. Okay. Sure. Um. Every time we summon a unit, we give things. Maybe the one. So. Is it at all possible that we can go flight? Hmm. Like, that takes five power off the board, right? It's really nice, but like. There's still a ton of damage. And Nocturne's are only fearsome block at the moment. So we might just pump up if they if they pull Priestess. Wow, that's so such a bad pull. <laughs> like, dude, I wanted that so bad. Thank goodness. Okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. Um, we can skip block here. We're gonna try to finish them up next turn. Is that possible? Quicksand destroys us. We'll have to have an elusive damage though. So wait, 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 hold on. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we just lose a fifth fight? I don't think that we do. 
Ah, oh, but Malphite's unstoppable for ground slam is Malphite's ground slam is fast speed though. Ooh, what if we just go Heavens Aligned? Onto Dusk, onto Dusk would only do two triggers of Nocturne. So these silly rock bears would still be so huge. Oh, that's so huge. Is that better? If it was just two more damage, I think we have to go for it. Please no Malphites. Please no stuns. <laughs> How much is Ground Slam? Ground Slam is four. So if they play Malphite, they won't have enough for Ground Slam. Er! No! No! This thing's so chunky! How do we get around that? I don't think we can. Does that mean we have to go... Ah. Oh. What if we go one onto dusk? Wait, wait, wait. What if we just what if we just double onto dusk? Crescent Guardian. That pumps an extra four damage. Oh goodness, this is so crazy. What if we just go two, four, five, six, seven? With with Trickster? Oh man, this is so sketch. If they have quicksand, I think we just lose. Maybe we don't lose lose, but it's certainly close. So we can go Shade Sucker. Flight. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. This is really nerve wracking. We can Underdusk Crescent Guardian for some extra damage, maybe? Uh, oh, if they have Quixian though, on Overwhelm and one of our Looses, I don't think we can make it out. What are they waiting for? Please don't have a stun. No! No! Ah, uh, heartbreak. We only pump like an extra two damage. Man. Doombeast is hope. Doombeast is hope. But everything else is dead. <laughs> I don't think we can make it out of that. Wait, Doombeast is actually game winning if we can go Sly Soldier into Doombeast into Dawn Dusk, but I don't think we're ever gonna get there. If they don't open it. Ah, rats! Rats! Hmm. Unlucky. Cool, cool. Man, I don't know how people want an aggro decks, I swear. <laughs> okay, I think we have time for one more game. What is this? Wait, what? What? How do I? How do I? What? <laughs> um. I think we're okay with that. I really like Diana. Stygian's always a great start. That is spectacular. We will happily take that. I think we we go Diana. No, let's go let's go Stygian. Really unfortunate. That's why I kinda wanted to go Diana, but I didn't think about Prey at all. Oh no, this is a shark chariot deck. Uh, we can actually Slarry Soldier and Pale Cascade Zed. Feel pretty nice. Oh.
pog start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This is so awkward again, though. What if we, um... I think I messed up. I should have waited to play Diana this turn. Well. We can... Or uh, Jeepers. This is awkward. I guess we can Undusk. Oh, that's pretty solid. Wow, that's kind of cool. Do I expect this to get pumped somehow? I don't. Hmm, but they're both ephemeral, so... We're losing our Crescent Guardian either way, right? Do we care? Is it worth the two damage? What are they doing next turn? Probably just another Camera Born Soldier, though. Come, a new oh man, this is so place. tricky. I have no idea what to do here. And they could just pull Prey. Probably gets glimpsed. I and I guess we could attack with Crescent Guardian. I don't know, that feels kind of bad. Let's just kill the, the prey. I don't know if that's good or not. That's so awkward. Okay, sure. Man, their ephemerals are gonna get huge. This is cool. I like this idea of like the God Willow, uh, the Shadow Isles deck. <laughs> oh, it's a Dawn and Dusk deck. Okay, that's kind of fun. Hmm. This is so awkward again. Do we just pass this entire turn? Like, this hint is not the play. I don't really want to double Pale Cascade just to cycle the cards. It feels kind of bad. What if we just, like, suicide our Diana so we can play another one as, like, the. Uh, Nightfall Activator. Oh my goodness, this feels awful. Hmm. How much damage could we push if we... What if we just Pale Cascade? No mercy for heretics. Do they play... Uh, they don't actually play any removal spells. Like, they don't have... They don't play uh, Vile Feast or anything, so we can do this. And I almost want to cycle this Pale Cascade. Actually, let's just, let's just, or no, let's, let's, um, well, Diana's gonna level up, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Diana's level animation is so cool, too. Ho oh, ho! That is not awful. <laughs> so what I was thinking was we could go... <gasps> oh, Okay. Now that's interesting. Does it change anything here? We only have seven mana though, so what if we go... Like this, they play a unit, and we just hit them for a butt-ton. I think we're okay with that, right? Just pop, pop. They went below Vengeance mana. Swing in for a ton. 18. Ah, oh, One short, one short. <laughs> That one! That one. Okay, how do we win? How do we win? 
They have Spirit Refuge. Oh no, that could be so bad. So if they attack, we're not gonna block. We're just gonna... Oh my gosh, that's such a huge attack. Can we go down to four? Oh my gosh. Oh! They're gonna level up the Eagle in one turn, aren't they? Let's just... I think we just pop the ephemeral here and use that as a way to activate Pale Cascade. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Let's do the S. We'll block one of the three power things so they don't gain much life. Hmm. Hmm. That puts us way too far into atrocity range though, doesn't it? We'd have to block so much. Not a pale of skin. The guilty would bear. Oh, thank God I shut up. They don't have Scarce Refuge. I think, I think, I think we have a solid chance here. Oh, wait. This is Vegas on a quick level here. Well, that's kind of frustrating, isn't it? Huh. So that means we have to hunt for another unit. Or just unspeakable horror. Oh! That's... Close, but not quite enough. There we go! Oh wait, we have Diana too. Does it matter? Diana is so much cooler. Oh, we could actually have hunted for Doombeast. Doesn't that one is the game too? But if we didn't hit it, we would lose. Please don't vengeance me. If they vengeance Diana, we have to hunt for. Oh, goodness. We have two elusives. There's no they can't cast double vengeance. Come on, Cygnus. Come on, come on. Did we get there? They can't run quicksand. <gasps> oh, let's go! <laughs> awesome, there we go. That's a perfect way to finish it off. The words of the heretic rang true. Nice. Okay. A bit of a rough start with some of those decks, but we got there with a with a pretty sick finish. <laughs> That was a really cool turn where they had like double, double came of orange soldier ephemerals. That was super cool. All right, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm gonna have to scoot out though. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, I upload my streams to YouTube afterwards. Thanks for coming by and chatting in chat. I always enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a nice weekend.